What's going on, everybody? Zach here with Southern Lunar Retrievers. I'm still wearing the same shirt from the last couple episodes. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach Miller. I own Southern Lunar Retrievers. I run gun dogs, and I have recently been picked up by, by Sika Gear as a formal sponsor. Um, really excited to bring a lot of this gear to you guys so you can see what you're getting, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether you want to change it before you spend your hard-earned money on these, these products. Very good in quality, but quality comes with a price. And I back that up 100% with the products I review. These are no BS reviews. So strap in, we are going to review the Ascent Pants. We're going to Ascent on this dang review. So this is primarily made for the big game line, which is the uh, very woodland, uh, uh, warmer woodland uh, environment. It's a very good camo. I like it, especially if you're turkey hunting. Uh, we got spring turkey. Some are already in the mix of it. Others are about to start. This is usually the camo that I go with. Now, I'm not a big turkey hunter. Uh, I've just never been. I'd like to, but I don't know my butt from my elbow about it. So, who wants to help, you know, give me some tips? Let me know. I'd love to get started and throw a turkey on the grill or something like that. Let's talk about the ascent pants. So, big game primarily. They offer it in the subalpine pattern, which is what we'll be reviewing today. They also offer it in the open country, which is also a big game uh, pattern. And then they offer it in a pyrite, which as you could imagine, is sold out pretty much everywhere. But that is pretty much like a, 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 a very subtle olive green. Now, all the sizes are different. I'm not going to sit here and list them off. They got them pretty much from 30R all the way up to 42R. Um, got 98 reviews. Uh, obviously, it's not a new piece of clothing, but 98 reviews all the way up to a, a 4.5 out of 5. So, well done on the Ascent Pants. Um, so, let's go down to the description. They are a lightweight and breathable. This soft shell pant will keep you cool and dry for those hot days charging in the mountains. Advanced four-way stretch synthetic blends, moves with the hunter, and stands up to heavy abrasion with scrub and scree. Mesh, band, mesh back pockets deliver extra ventilation, and an internal mesh knee pad pocket provides added protection when field dressing an animal. I did not know that. Most of these I just kind of get, like, all right, I would definitely wear that. Or, you know, someone requests, hey, I want that reviewed. They're like, all right, let's give it a shot. I don't actually like looking like, oh man, those are the features. So this is kind of the first time that both of us are seeing this. All right, so first impression. Oh, my fault. They are $189, all right, for all uh, three patterns, all right? Now, my first impression looking at these, I, uh, there's just nothing to them. They're so light. You know, you can definitely tell that these are tailored to long rucks up mountains or, or you know, just sitting, boiling in, in you know, the, the early turkey season heat just sitting there um very nice pants very nice pants uh, for this pattern and i don't have a lot of this pattern i will be getting getting a lot more of it just because i don't have a lot of it but let's take it right from the top work our way down into the pant legs so very similar to the grinder pants and most pants that they offer uh in sika's line we've got some heavy duty belt loops very heavy duty now Shout out to Sika Gear and their customer service team and their repair team because I had one of these bust on me just from working the dogs and one of them jumped up. Very, very crazy puppy. And uh, pretty much just got caught and it ripped it off. Um, I sent my pants out, they were a pair of grinder pants. Sent them out and like a week later I had them back. So trust in Sika and their repair process. That was like quick as heck. But anyway, we have our standard uh, very heavy duty, almost a metal-like but tin-like button. All right, it's an offset button as we always talk about. It is pretty much just comes off. As we can see, it's a tab. It's very hard to see in these pants, I'm sorry, but um, just an offset so it comes right back in. Now moving down, obviously, like I said, we have the heavy duty belt loops that are awesome. We have two zippers, all right? Now I've noticed something that wearing just casual everyday pairs of pants like this, the, the pull tabs are nice on the top one but i can't tell you how many people were like hey your zipper's down I'm like no 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 it's a dual zip. and i just go in to tell them about the pants so honestly i cut it i cut the bottom one off just because I, it just kind of hangs out the zipper 
So, nonetheless, going down the pant leg, we've got a cargo pocket on both sides. This is a zipper cargo pocket right here and right here. I'm gonna have to point because it's very hard to see. Obviously the Sika logo on the right pant leg on the pocket. We've also got another logo on the back left pant leg right there as per usual. Now they do like, a, like the description said, had the knee pad pocket, which if you can see here, it's kind of right there. Okay, very hard to show, I'm sorry, um, but it's just a good camo, so I can't apologize that much. Besides that, that's it. I mean, these are super lightweight, man. I mean, there's just, there's nothing. You know what I mean? It's just, that's the inside. There's nothing to them. You know, very quiet as well. I like that. Beyond that, I would definitely rock these summertime, uh, either run the pups or hunting, uh, any kind of game in that, uh, uh, you know, that kind of camouflage pattern environment. They have the dog ear pockets as well. Like the description said, they are mesh, but they are also camouflage mesh, which is a nice change. To the actual inside, they have the very nice uh, rubberized, uh, not sticky, but very, uh, uh, it catches the pant in case you're not wearing a belt because it's very rubberized and you can see like a little bit of glare there. Tag wise, we got the 10 mile tag on the left front here next to the button. Um, like I said, they have the mesh pockets all the way around. All right, moving to the inside. Here we see the mesh bound and Velcro enclosed uh, knee pad pocket. So any of the standard knee pads that you guys see out there, if you haven't, go check out the Hudson bib video. I've got them in there where I show you all that. Um, but very, very, very lightweight. If you guys are trying to minimize weight down to the ounce, get these. Uh, they're definitely water resistant. I can't say if these are waterproof, mainly because they just feel a little bit like they've got a little bit of absorption in them, but I could be wrong. So if you guys have had experience with these, let me know in the comments. Let me know what kind of hunts y'all take these on, what you like, what you don't like, let me know. Beyond that guys, that's going to just about do it for the video. Thank you guys for watching very much. Please subscribe to the channel so I can keep these videos coming because the gear is pricey and I want to make sure I get it to you guys and have some good reviews on it. Beyond that, thank you for watching. Have a good day and we'll see you on the next episode. Try to catch me howling at the moon.